hello YouTube land again. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make a equilateral triangle uh, using OpenSCAD. Now, for those who don't know, an equilateral triangle is uh, well a triangle that's of equal length on all three sides. For those of you who don't know. So we're going to create some white space. Just keep in mind that like means I go along. So we're going to create our module, which is where we're going to put it. Um, I'm just going to, I'm not going to call it the whole thing because it's just too long to type. I'm going to call it equi triangle. Yeah. Uh, we're going to need a couple of variables inside. So we want side length as one of them because we want to specify how long we want the side. Um, because we want to be able to, because we want the option of doing them as pointy corners or rounded corners, we're going to do we're going to put a corner radius one in there. Um, and of course, we want uh, the triangle height. How high it ends up. There we go. Let's expand that a little bit. Now, yeah. okay. First one we're going to do is the we're going to do the very first. Let's put it in a hole. First, because that's how we did the right angle one. Um, we're first going to have our the first thing we're going to do is have a we're going to plonk our cylinder down. Very first cylinder. Call it so we actually see something when we uh, hit F5. Um, let's go with 100 millimeter, 100 millimeters on the side. We'll go with a corner radius of five like last time, and we'll go with a height of ten. Okay. Um, now, our first problem we can see is that it's sitting right in the middle. So just like in the last one. So we're going to shift it up that way along the y-axis. So we're going to shift it by the same amount as the corner radius. Okay, that's just where we want it. Now, the um, the other two corners, we want a hundred mil out that way. We want we want the side length out that way, but we want it up here. We want to rotate it on the z axis by 60 degrees. So, what we're going to do is exactly that. We're going to create a cylinder here, and we're going to rotate it around each other. We want to put the rotate in first. Let's create the cylinder first. So, Length minus the corner radius times two. And let's save a bit of type and let's copy and paste. Okay. There is our second corner. Now, no, we don't need to worry about that. I'm not butting up to it like last time because we actually want this in the middle there like that. We'll see why in a minute. So, what we're going to do is we're going to rotate this around so it's up there somewhere. And then we're going to plonk another 
cylinder up there. So all three, all three cylinders will be 60 degrees apart from each other, forming the equilateral triangle. So. Rotate sixty. So we're rotating by sixty degrees on the z-axis. There we go. Now we just need another one. Put a, another sixty degrees. So we'll copy and paste that. Because I can't be bothered typing it all now. And we'll change that to one hundred twenty. There we go. We have one equilateral triangle. Now to do the pointy corner thing, all you do is you set that to you set the radius that you're gonna use, which is there, to point one. If you, the 3D printing is this is mainly what this is for. Um, you can do the point to point system. I think it's the polygon command or, uh, in OpenSCAD. Yeah, it works, but it won't give you rounded corners if you want them. It's. Yeah. There's also another one to be you can set the convexity. I think it is in the, in the cylinder command so that you can just reduce this entire thing just, just to one line of code, but it, again, it doesn't give you round corners. And it doesn't give you much control over how long all the sides are. And that will only give you an equilateral triangle anyway. So 